Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in a retirement of having. As the evening hours are dwindling down from sunset to dusk, we have to look at what we're doing for our life. When I talk about these things, maybe only a handful of people actually listen, but what we know about the new wave of social media companies is they don't always show you the numbers as they are. It might look like a lot of people are watching, or it might like look like no people are watching, but what we really know is that most times the actual numbers are not correct. What I can say to you is that people like to be people. And people liking to be people means that we have the right to do things, to change our lives, to move away, to find new people, to do new things, and to try new opportunities. But if we're a fearful person, if we're an unwelcoming person, if we're a small-minded person, if we're a white trash person, I apologize for the reference, but some people will understand what the description means and other people will be offended and I don't really give a shit. But if we're a person of minority or a person of diversity or for a person of majority, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what we do in our own life that impacts our own situation. Our individual life force and where it goes is completely, most of the time, up to us and the choices and decisions that we make. But sometimes the decisions we make result in chaos. And sometimes the decisions we make result in irony. And sometimes the decisions we make are not pleasing to God Most High. And some people like to play the blame game. And the blame game is, I'm blaming you for my decisions. But there's another version of blame game that says, don't blame me for what I've done to you. And what that means is a human being's life is impacted by a spontaneous or a premeditated plan and decision. And the individual who did the accosting of a human being's life plan and insecurities or fears or their opportunities has literally destroyed that individual's life. But they don't want to see how their impact harms someone's life. The realities of the world is that we have players of games. And game players often openly want to keep upping the ante and competing in a marvelous idea they have. Which is, I am the trophy wife winner. I am the king of the hill panhandler. I am the best girl in this property. I am the greatest guy you can see, and they keep posting themselves up, building themselves up, or used to call puffing themselves up, and walking around like a peacock, when in fact they've done absolutely nothing in their life. And game players and liars like to ping a person and pass around gossip and harm people with it. Game players are often people who play games on internet hack people's computers, destroy their phone networks, interfere with the collection of photographs or records on our technology that we use, and they rarely want to admit to what they're doing as abuse.